Lonnie Love is calling out Tyler Perry for being cheap and writing terrible movies with the same horrible storylines. The internet has been buzzing as people have joined in on this controversy. Many are saying that Tyler Perry's recent movie, Divorce in the Black starring Megan Good and Corey Hardick, is possibly the worst movie released in 2024. Lonnie Love has stirred up a controversy that critics and viewers have been talking about for years. But Lonnie Love is the first actress slash comedian slash TV personality to actually come out and publicly speak out about this. Other actors and actresses would probably be afraid to speak up because they don't want to risk not getting movie roles or worse, being blackballed. Stay tuned as we've got all the messy and juicy details here on Celebrity Business. Lonnie Love is calling out Tyler Perry for being cheap and writing terrible movies with the same horrible storylines. Hello? Tyler Perry's latest movie, Divorce in the Black, starring Megan Good and Corey Hardick, received a 0% Rotten Tomatoes score. That's the worst possible rating ever. It seems like the ratings keep dropping one movie after the other. His last movie, Mia Culpa, released back in January, starring Kelly Rowland, scored 21%. That was an improvement from the movie before that, A Fall From Grace, which scored 15%. Please drop a like on this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Tyler Perry movies get the absolute worst ratings ever, and many including Lonnie Love seem to believe that the reasons why Tyler Perry's movies score so low is because Tyler Perry does all the writing, directing and producing himself, and he tends to portray the same narrative across all his movies and TV shows. Fans and critics have been complaining for years about the repetitive themes, drawn-out storylines and bad acting. Lonnie Love has definitely shed some more light on this and even more people have been talking about this and hopefully Tyler Perry is listening. Lonnie Love tweeted, I love that Tyler Perry is paying black actors now, but I wish he would hire black writers and directors that have experience to help him with his movies. He could improve the movies and make them award-worthy if he would stop trying to save money by doing the writing and directing himself. Sounds like Lonnie Love is not only calling out Tyler Perry's horrible movie storylines and bad directing, but it also sounds like she's low-key calling him cheap. Anyways, many fans seem to agree with Lonnie Love that Tyler Perry needs to hire other writers and directors to help improve his movies. Ernest Owens shared, I literally said this on my podcast episode today, like he has the studio, all he needs to do is hire others to make these films better. I was looking forward to watching Divorce in the Black, but with these bad reviews I doubt I'll even bother. I was a fan of Tyler Perry movies, but I can't get past the repetitive themes and drawn-out storylines. If I do watch a Tyler Perry movie, it's because of the actors. I did not like Mia Culpa. It was horrible, but I watched it because I'm a fan of Kelly Rowland. Comment below if you have watched Divorce in the Black and if you think it's worth watching. On a scale from 1 to 10, what is your rating for this movie? None of the actors or actresses who worked with Tyler Perry ever complained about the storylines or quality of the movie script. They've all just seemed to rave and glorify Tyler Perry for acknowledging their worth and paying them a lot more money than they've ever made from a role. So, it appears that Tyler Perry chose to do all the writing, directing, and producing himself so that he can be able to pay his actors more. But what about the audience? People will eventually stop watching if the movies continue to be horrible. Despite Divorce in the Black receiving a 0% score from critics, the actors were well paid for their roles. I'm certain they wouldn't mind winning an award or two for the roles they play, but being paid based on your worth, experience, and talent, among other skills and competencies of an actor, possibly means a lot more, especially for black actresses. What I love about Tyler is not only is he an angel, not only is he a genius, um, but he also makes you feel valued and mm -hmm. seen and appreciated. Because he was like, you deserve this. Tyler Perry seems to be the only one in the industry who is paying the actors and actresses what they are truly worth. He mm. most certainly pays it forward to everyone else. Oh. Even though Tyler Perry movies receive numerous low ratings, his movies do make a lot of money and are quite popular. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe to the channel. Catch up on more celebrity business in the next video.